Hello, my name is Edgar. Core by Premier Software receives regular updates which our team can schedule in at a time to suit you. These updates give you access to reworked or brand new features. To make sure your staff have access to any new features following an update, I will show you what steps you will need to take. When Core receives an update, our team will provide release notes online for you to view. We will typically provide a link to this, helping you see what updates have occurred. Whilst some features will receive updates, sometimes they will be entirely brand new functions that you will need to activate for each staff member in your Core system. To do this, log into Core's manager application if you are a single site business or administrator if the business is based across multiple sites. Once you have access to the system, head to the general section and click user profiles. Here you will see a list of functions available within Core. You should have a list of profiles or job roles already set up. If not, you can click the green plus to set one up, naming this something such as senior therapist or receptionist, then click the green tick. On the right, click the user profile you would like to manage the system functions for. For example, you may have a profile set up for your therapists as well as the receptionist, who will have access to different functions based on their roles. Once selected, head to the left and click the applicable tab such as reception, manager if you're a single site business, or administrator for a multi-site business. Any greyed out icons will mean that function is inactive for that user profile. A new feature will therefore be greyed out until this is made active. You can click any grey icon to turn it into a coloured icon, denoting it is now available for use. If the release notes state that certain reports are new, such as clients' items on account or performance reports, you will need to make these active for each applicable profile user. In this example, head to Tilling Management, Reporting and then Reports. Some icons, such as reports, will have an ellipsis that you will need to click to access further options, so click this. Any new reports will then feature on the left under Not Allowed. Click the double right arrow to allocate these to the user profile and make them active. Click the back arrow once you are done. The same applies to any new feature. Click the back arrow again to head back to the main menu. One last thing to make note of is to make sure each user profile is then actually assigned to the relevant staff member. Under General, click User Manager. Here you can assign profile roles to each member and each site. This is important to make sure you have access to any new features. In the User List, locate your username and click to highlight this. Then at the top, click the Site Details tab. Here you will see a site list complete with drop down menus next to them. Under the Profile column, use the drop down menu to select what user profile you set up previously, such as Senior Therapist or Receptionist. This will ensure someone can use the updated features you made active. Now you know how to activate new features following an update. If you have yet to experience Core by Premier Software, why not book a free presentation using the link in the description. In the meantime, you can find out more when you visit our website at www.premier-core.com. Telephone our sales team on plus 44015434665860 or email us at sales at premiersoftware.co.uk. Why not subscribe to us on YouTube for weekly videos on how to use Core and click the notification bell to receive updates as soon as they become available. You can also follow us on Twitter at Core by Premier and LinkedIn at Premier Software Solutions for regular content. Take care and thank you for watching.